Hello everyone, Mike and I would like to show you now how mobile devices performed in the 20 MHz and 40 MHz channels. We evaluated a number of different mobile electronic devices that operate in a Wi-Fi 5 GHz frequency band. On the first day of testing, the devices we used included an iPhone 5, an iPad 3, an Apple MacBook, a Dell Studio 15, a Dell Latitude E5400, and a Dell Latitude E6410. And on the second day of testing, we used an Apple MacBook Pro instead of an iPhone 5. We configured the Aero 5 AP333 access point using an online centralized network configuration manager. This first screen capture shows the main network configuration page. We evaluated throughput with a trusted application, namely the iX Chariot. According to the company's website, the iX Chariot is the industry's leading test tool for simulating real-world applications in order to predict device and system performance under realistic load conditions. We use the default settings for the most part of our tests. Highlighted here, however, are two that we modified following our university's computer lab recommendations. First, we extended the test to two minutes, and second, we batched the results. We assigned static IP addresses for each device. Next, we installed an IP IXEA client, which was a requirement for testing with IX Chariot. Then, we verified the connectivity with our IX Chariot server, which was loaded on the Dell Latitude E6410. Once all end devices were connected to the Chariot server, we replicated each link six times, as shown in this capture. This would maximize our data throughput during the test period. During our setup, we monitored channels 36 and 40 in the 5 GHz frequency band with MetaGeek Insider. The top graph shows our initial scan of the 5 GHz spectrum. This scan showed that our test channel, IST648-5 in purple, was interfering with another channel, Cisco AVC, on the same frequencies. So we made adjustments, which are reflected in the bottom graph. This graph now shows no interference with our 40 MHz channels. On day 2, we had to jump to channels 149 and 153 due to interferences on channels 36 and 40. Here are the day 1 test results in the 40 MHz channel. And here are the day 2 test results. Here are the comparative results in the 40 MHz channel. The iPad 3 responded with the highest average throughput of 3.4 megabits per second. The MacBook Pro 8 was close behind with an average throughput of 3.3 megabits per second. The iPhone 5 responded with the lowest average throughput of just 0.9 megabits per second. Here are the day one test results in the 20 MHz channel. And here are the day two test results. Here are the comparative results in the 20 MHz channel. The Apple MacBook responded with the highest average throughput of 2.6 megabits per second. The iPad 3 was close behind with 2.3 megabits per second as was the MacBook Pro 8 with 2.2 megabits per second. The iPhone 5 was unresponsive in this test, leaving the Dell E5400 with the lowest average throughput value of 1.5 megabits per second. The conclusions from our experiment? First, we did not oversubscribe or maximize throughput on the Aero 5 AP330 access point. Rather, we tested each client device against each other with a standard 10 megabyte batch file. 
the test results produced lower than expected throughput. However, we felt that these test results gave a good comparison between client devices. Second, the 40 MHz channel provided higher aggregate throughput for all devices than the 20 MHz channel. The 40 MHz channel resulted in an average throughput of 36 megabits per second on day one and a higher average of 41 megabits per second on day two. The 20 MHz channel resulted in an average throughput of 22 megabits per second on day one and 29 megabits per second on day two. The only difference in our setup on those two days was our indoor location. And lastly, the iPad 3 had the highest average throughput on the 40 MHz channel with an average of 3.4 megabits per second. The Apple MacBook, on the other hand, had the highest average throughput during the 20 MHz channel test with an average of 2.6 megabits per second. So that was our screencast project. Thanks for attending and have a great day.